Merry Christmas, Mosaic. This is a pre-recorded message from December 22nd, and we're posting it at 10.30 a.m. on Christmas Eve uh, as we begin our worship service up at the Seedman Boys and Girls Club. We are not doing a live stream today, so you may be running, uh, coming, checking in on the YouTube channel, hoping to watch our worship service. I know many are out of town on vacation, and, and we would love to have been able to give you that live stream. But this is just to let you know that we will not have that uh, for Christmas Eve 2023. We just have too many people out of town and want to give our volunteers that we do have uh, a week off. And so I'm going to be teaching. We have our K through five kids in the worship service with us. It's going to be an interactive sermon. Uh, we're going to have props and stuff like that to get the kids interested and involved. And it'll be fun. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, we won't have a live stream for you. I do want to wish you a very Merry Christmas, and I hope that your Christmas Eve and Christmas Day is filled with joy and focusing in on Christ's love. Uh, it's kind of hard to summarize what the teaching will be on today uh, because of the kids and it being very interactive, but I want to give you just a little bit of things to think about if you're tuning into this. The fourth Sunday of Advent is on love, and so in this sermon, I'm trying to express the love of Christ, explaining why God came to us in the first place. What does it mean that God is Emmanuel? Jesus' name, uh, a name for Jesus is Emmanuel, and it means God with us, and it means God came to us. God, God loved us in the Old Testament, but it's like it wasn't working. We weren't getting the message, so he said, all right, I'm going to come down there. I'm going to show them myself in a personal way in a way they can understand, in a way that they can relate to. And that's what Jesus did. I'd encourage you today, maybe when you turn this video off, to open up your Bible and read Philippians 2, 1 through 15. I just give a little summary of these verses in the sermon because we, we have a lot of ground to cover, and I'm trying to keep the kids engaged as well. Uh, but for your personal reading time, I think it would be a great reminder of Jesus coming, showing his love for us by dying on the cross, but then the challenge that we are to love others in the same way. So let me just read you the summary. This is just a collection of phrases from verses 1 through 15, and then I'd encourage you to read it uh, and spend some time with the Lord this morning on it or whenever you happen to stumble upon this video. It says, if you have any comfort from Christ's love, then have the same love in your relationships with one another. Have the same mindset as Christ Jesus. Then you will shine among them like stars in the sky. I love that imagery at the end of shining like stars in the sky because the sky is dark. And when I look at the world, it's dark. There's a lot of darkness in the world and people need the love of Jesus. And we are told to shine uh, like stars, shining in the darkness with the light of Jesus. And, you know, stars, they don't light up the night. Um, they don't change the darkness into light. The darkness is still going to be there, but they provide hope. They provide a, a, a um, light, and they, and in this case, they point towards the ultimate source of love. And that's really what it's about. We're about pointing people towards Jesus so they can have that ultimate source of love as well. So have a very Merry Christmas. Uh, here's my ugly Christmas sweater. Uh, go, Jesus. It's your birthday. Uh, so I hope you celebrate Jesus' birthday uh, with love and joy and peace and hope. All the themes of Advent have a very happy new year. And we'll see you back at Mosaic on December 31st uh, for our live 1030 a.m. service. And we will also have our live stream back up and running for that. Merry Christmas and happy new year.